Yeah, I guess we have to get going so we can our body right. <laughs> yes, I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. So this is the first episode of the Curious Creative. I'm Lorley Edwards. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an artist here in town, uh, and this is Sarah Christensen, and she's my first guest in this format. So. Um, I've done the Lethbridge Artists Way podcast for three different episodes looking at artists here in Lethbridge. And I was asked by Jesse to, to come on and have a show on um, Jess TV and Jess FM. So here we are. So thank you, Jess. Yay. And uh, he's been asking me so, forever too. Has he? Well, there you go. See how easy it is. Boom, here See, I am. See, I know. I know. Well, it's good because it's good to have. Um, the community interaction. Yes. So something I think as formal as this, we're we're sitting on the floor of Sarah's house with Yay. her amazing, Things. amazing, uh, amazing <laughs> bookshelves and, and uh, plants and that kind of thing. So it's it's nice that we're able to do something sort of this informal, yeah. but also like getting to know our community, yes. um, getting to know what you do, um, what makes you tick, what you think of our community, that kind of thing is what. I hope we're going to talk about. Right. I'm like, whoa, what yeah. do I think? <laughs> <laughs> and then get that out. show going. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we met, I don't know, because I knew you before we opened the shop. So I don't know yeah. if I knew you from university or... I remember serving you, not like food or anything, yeah. but you walked into Happy Hemp, which is yeah. located, which was located yeah. in the old Union That's right. Barber Salon. And you walked in, you were about to go on a cruise or no, a trip or something like yeah, that with wouldn't Paul. Be a cruise. No, yeah, but, I was like, no, it wasn't a cruise, but you were going somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you wanted like clothes made yeah. out of hemp. And yeah. I wasn't sewing at that time, but I was really excited because I was working for my friend Mickey who had happy hemp and it was like, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so there we met. That was yeah. our first interaction. But I didn't know yeah. you for years after that. And then it was like probably a decade or so. That's kind of how yeah. Lethbridge is. Yeah, right. right? Lethbridge like, is kind of like that it? where you know people or you know of people. Yeah. Or you've seen, especially I think when you're in the art community, mm -hmm. um, you've either seen people perform or read their work or yeah. seen, been to an exhibition where you know them. <laughs> so you kind of feel it's kind of this community where you kind yeah. of feel like you know people, but you don't really you don't. know people. Yeah, and then you walk up <laughs> yeah. and you're like, we totally know, I don't know. They don't know that I know them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a trippy thing about Facebook, yeah. right? Right. I know. Like, the... What's that person's name in real life? We used yeah. to be friends when I knew her name. <laughs> yeah, or like I'm kind of really... Um, uh, like I get sort of really anxious in social yeah. situations. So before, like if I would have seen you walking down the street, I would have been like, oh, she probably won't remember me. Uh, da, 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 da. And this huge yeah. like thing going outside my head. And, and so I wouldn't say hi. Yeah. Whereas then when Facebook came along, I'd be like, Oh, okay. So autumn, I know it was yeah. autumn's birthday. Right. So now I can sort of say, Hey, yeah. And so for me, I know people kind of like diss social media, but for me, I think it allows me to be more actually interactive. Yeah, it gives you that bridge of engagement, mm -hmm. right? Where yeah, like, which is hey, odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have the confidence to. Some people, like myself, I'll be like, oh, I know about that they just had a birthday, but I don't really know them, and I don't know if I should say anything, because that might be creepy. <laughs> or you don't want to admit it. Last time I don't want to admit right? it, because I don't want like to admit I look on social media so much or oh, something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, I know your whole life. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like, oh, yeah, that time when you got your, you know, wisdom <laughs> teeth pulled. I really wanted to say this, but. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? No, uh -huh. it's a funny thing. Yeah. It's, it's nice, though, because it's an, a window into your community, you yes. know, or at least into what your community is comfortable sharing, mm -hmm. right? And then it gives you that opportunity to maybe engage and then get to know them a bit more and then really connect on a more personal level because you have that icebreaker. You know? Yeah, I yeah. agree, and I think I think there, you know, there's that curation of our our yeah. existence or our life on social media, right? And then as artists, we're sort of constantly curating um, our own work within, yeah. right? Um, and maybe we'll just sort of should probably give a better introduction. Oh yeah, right. So. <laughs> So um, it's because we know each other, yeah. so we just get chatting. Um, but Sarah um, was up at the university, yeah. doing art up at the university. I did participate yeah. in one of the exhibitions that you were... No, I didn't. Wait. I just went. You went, yeah. No, I did wanted you? to probably. Which one? It was great. <laughs> There's a lot. Yeah. Like, midlife teenage yeah. angst. 
<laughs> no, but I mean, and so I've sort of seen, got to see your work. Mm -hmm. And so I think we probably more became friends sort of over that, different friends yeah. we had in common. Well, um, and modeling too. You yep. were doing the Dr. Sketchies and I yeah, was like, pick me, right. pick me, <laughs> you know? That's right. Yeah. I yeah. forgot. So that's when we definitely got to know each yeah. other better. Yeah. Because you did a couple times. Yes. You yeah. were fantastic. It was so much fun. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. when everyone is inviting me to go to Dr. Sketchies. I'm like, no, I've got plans. <laughs> But I was the model, and I oh, surprised everybody. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah. That's so yeah. great. We'll have to, if you don't know what Dr. Sketchies is, uh, when this is finished, yeah. go go have a look. It's it's fun. And um, it's a uh, burlesque drawing, and it's something that I'd like to, maybe I can con Sarah into helping me organize another one. But um, it's a really fun event. Once we yeah. can start having events again, yeah. um, maybe we'll have to do <gasps> one virtually. What if we, so, yeah, I'm like, can we just like, yeah. draw us? Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad right? idea. That's not a bad idea. It could be a live them? modeling. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah. yeah we in. could just slowly change our, our, right. our things. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. remember that one? I was like, I like, know. What are I you don't doing? know. I'm like, it's a good pose. It's worth it. <laughs> that was the yeah. last one. <laughs> But there, there are events, and I know everyone's saying, especially artists, and we've been trying to um, share our art in different ways, but that's been sort of challenging, too, is we yeah. did have so many things that were kind of social, whether it was going to see a musician uh, perform somewhere, yeah. if it was going to see an exhibition, um, poetry reading, there's some I, yeah. book, good books that have come out, but... Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't know. Those things are sort of the social things where we do get to know each other. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes yeah. we're lucky enough yeah. well, and to get a close... We see each other, and mm -hmm. it's like, then it becomes like, oh, I can't wait to see that person. Mm -hmm. You know, because when we had the, like, the SAG and the Trianon and, you yeah. know, like the gallery hop, where yeah. it was like, no, okay, I'll see you over there. And then, you know, I'd get a little crazy. I think I yeah. stole some wine bottles and took them to the after party, <laughs> and it's like, I brought the booze. Actually, John did. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shh. I know. I'm like, I'll oh, never know. No discretion. No, no. he knew. I was just like flagging in his face <laughs> back in the drinking days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there were those, there were yeah. some harsher days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now you are a tattoo artist for, yes. for a living, obviously yeah. still an artist. And so doing, using your art and taking to a different medium. Yeah. Um, I wasn't surprised when I heard that, but how did that come about? How did you? My mom was tattooed. And I grew up as a little girl yeah. wanting to be a part of that. Like, I just mm. was like, wow, what is that? How did those become permanent? What's that like? What, you know, so I draw on myself all <laughs> through growing up, you yeah. know, and especially when I was a teenager, I had my legs covered with pen, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and didn't really talk about it with mm -hmm. anybody. It just was mm. one of those things. And, and then I met my ex, my previous ex-husband, <laughs> yeah. had children and started businesses like, you know, just derailed from that dream that yeah. I had because I didn't know how to really make any of my dreams concrete. Mm -hmm. I was very much more of like, well, this leads to that, to that, to that. And I didn't want to know the big picture. Mm. I just wanted to experience what life had to offer. Yeah. And do you think, so how do you think that served you well? That's such a sort of an interesting way well no like it's yeah. it is interesting in a way to sort of decide to look at things that way as you come along right? yeah yeah I, I never really questioned well I've questioned it but in regards to like how come nobody else thinks like this <laughs> yeah. you know like people think I'm crazy like I just do I don't know <laughs> it all works out you know yeah and it's yeah. kind of like I was liking myself to being that fool and jumping off the edge of that cloud and knowing that I would land on a rainbow that would slide me down to another cloud or a cloud would catch me or I'd free fall for a bit. Who knows? Like there's always What about something. the lightning and rain though? Those are really pretty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's great inspiration in dark there storms. Are. Come on. <laughs> there, are, there are. Yeah. Yeah. There are. Um, but yeah, so, so I went through life and I went up and this way and around and entrepreneurship and everything was always artistic you know mm -hmm. I I met Mickey who had mm -hmm. happy hemp um I'd met her when I was 18 actually at the keg oh and then that's where I met like a lot of people oh yeah no really? talk about small world yeah <laughs> totally and then it's just like people just you keep knowing them along the way right and you see yeah. them branch off and change and grow and and while yourself you know myself mm -hmm. I was growing and changing too and I ended up out of that one relationship and my relationships has always kind of been like central to what I was doing because I w wanted to 
make it work. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm kind of in that place where I'm like, whoa, I, I work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, um, now with tattooing, I had finished my career as a student doing mm -hmm. my, you know, second post-secondary education, which I never thought I'd actually end up doing because I yeah. dropped out of high school, you know, like I dropped out of high school and moved away and hit the streets and did yeah, some things, yeah. you know, and then came back home and settled down and moved to Lethbridge and went, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's this town got to offer, right? <laughs> when I went to this one thing called Hell House and I thought it'd be so oh, cool. Oh, God, yeah. It was not cool. No, no. <laughs> it was not okay. And that's, there is a documentary from a friend of ours that did oh, that. No way. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah Chanel, Chanel. Chanel's done one. Sorry, I poked you there. That's okay. <laughs> like, I've been like touching your leg the whole person. time. Human <laughs> person. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, um, but uh, we've both been isolating, by yeah. the way. So we I just came out of each ten other. days of yeah. isolation, and you just came out of ten yeah. days isolation. So yeah. yeah, just thought I should mention Safety that now first. in these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Hell House, you have to look up at for yeah. her documentary. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. I forget where it is. I'll try and put a, a link on it. Um, because yeah, that was a weird trippy. Lethbridge thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I forget yeah. what church it was put on by. I, oh, I don't know. It was, uh, I don't know. One anyway. of them that I wasn't into. Yeah. <laughs> I, and so, so yeah. you, so you come to Lethbridge and you yeah. go to this hell house thinking yeah. it's like a fun Halloween yeah. thing, right? And I was super, still am, yeah. into Marilyn Manson. And I remember like walking by and like singing lyrics at them <laughs> just being like <laughs> so feel like this feeling of betrayal I felt mm -hmm. so tricked because I yeah. got in thinking that it would be something really and it wasn't mm -hmm. and it was yeah and I those are the types of situations where I'm like no like don't pretend to be something you aren't mm -hmm. like just be you like that's where all of the greatness comes from in our community is right. people finding our way to be able to be ourselves right like look at you and your journey and everywhere you've gone and how many people you've inspired and been able to like help through well, yeah, I, it's I'm getting lost in my blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, but um, as you're saying it, so I have the, this thing because art and activism is like goes yes. hand in hand to me, yeah. and but in a way, that's a very activist act, right? Yeah. For this church to have yes. this horrible, um, I hate the trickery as yeah. well. It's sort of you know definitely meant to bring in people that would be into Let's the guilt darker you side. Into better behavior yeah no yeah, yeah but but there is that it does remind me of art and activism right yeah and how strong art can be I don't know if we would necessarily classify that as art well um it was it was um a um house that had been turned into a room that was sort of all about abortion well, like and, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like you walk in, you go in through the basement, and it's this old brick house. It's that flower shop or gallery yeah, now, yeah. I think, just yeah. off of 3rd Ave. And um, no affiliation, I'm sure. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah, you went in, yeah. and they like they take you on this really spooky tour, and then they show you different scenes in different rooms, which was really cool like yeah, in yeah, itself, it's a right? Great and idea. I did have like a visceral reaction, so well done. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. no. So anyway, each room was a different moral, Yeah. right? So right. it was like, oh, this drunk driver and this, you know, other young person, they cars collided and I can't remember what the story was on that one but and then the next one after it was like yeah she was raped but but and she's having an abortion and she's going to hell and I was like whoa 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 like yeah. what the fuck yeah. kind of town am I in yeah. <laughs> but I'm still here <laughs> well, and it's my town I really feel like I'm <laughs> an integral part of the community you know and that there's there's amazing activists that are all throughout our neighborhoods and mm -hmm. our our downtown and you know like like Shannon Phillips is my neighbor you know and mm -hmm. I donated to her and she sent me this card and she's like she you know pointed out like all of the things that she knows that I've done and I was Aww. like oh that really lifted me up at that moment because yeah. it's been a really rough year <laughs> yeah but yeah you know but art is one of those things that we use to survive yeah and it's one of those things that I mean it's so strong mm -hmm. that it has been used <laughs> For evil, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Whereas they might say we use it for evil too, but I mean, it is um, so strong. It gives us visceral effects. Yeah. It calls us to action. Yeah. It signifies things. Like there's, yeah. there's so many ways that art is super important to be able yeah. to use and to recognize 
And um, it's cool when people in our community recognize yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So what are you interested in art? What, what like, so it sounds like you've sort of always drawn since you were a kid, maybe? Yeah. 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 I remember like leafing through my mom's old sketchbooks and being like, wow. And, it, you know, the daughters of Satan. <laughs> Things like that, right? But also like Dr. Seuss and, you know, yeah. like all of these, these wonderful creations. And I was just so fascinated by them. I wanted to know if I could do them too, you know, because she's my mom. Look yeah. after her. You know, we all want to honor our, where we came from. Yeah. But it was also something that really, really was in me. And I, and I needed, there was no... There was no decision like I'm. I am an artist. It was like I'm Sarah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, here I yeah. go, and I just yeah. Like I remember breaking into my school supplies when I was in like before kindergarten started, and being like, look at these crayons, <laughs> you know, and like sneaking the crayons out, opening yeah. in it, so it was really careful, and like drawing pictures secretly, yeah. and then putting them all the way, <laughs> put, so I wasn't getting in trouble for using my new supplies yeah. before school started. Yeah. But like that's yeah. Those are those moments, and just. The approach that I've always had to life was, you know, what can I do with this situation? What, what does my mind take me? You know, mm -hmm. where do I go? What does this, what does the story remind me of? Oh, can I, can I visualize that? Can I see this? Can I explore it further? Can I, can I dissect what the world is through my understanding of constructing it? Mm -hmm. You know, that yeah. kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. So and what, um, let's say when you start into university, yeah. what sort of, I mean, the great thing about university is it kind of um, lets us explore, right? In our foundation classes, yeah. it really gets you to explore what it is that you enjoy doing. Yeah. What do you gravitate towards? What's your... I did all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I love performance. I mm -hmm. didn't know. I was like, well, and it made sense when I started understanding what performance art was, mm -hmm. why I liked Marilyn Manson so much. Yeah. I was oh, like, totally. he's the ultimate performance oh, artist. Yeah. Like he started his band before he played musical instrument. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was like, yeah, I could do it. I just I liked that. I liked his <laughs> challenge of yeah. societal expectations. And that's kind of always been my thing. I don't know where I am now because I don't really pay attention to societal expectations yeah. so much anymore where I'm just yeah. like, no, my world is what, defines my existence with you know and my relationship with the world around me right so yeah. so as long as I'm I'm being true to myself and I think that comes over time right where it's like I've spent so much time trying on these costumes to mm -hmm. be something because I was searching for who I was right yeah. so with art it's really allowed me um to have no limits of of exploring that right mm -hmm. so yeah, it's been, I remember doing this one workshop with, um, I wish I could remember her name. I can give it to the footnotes later. <laughs> but she, we had to like bring costumes. And uh, Corinne was my partner. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. but you have to check her out. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she could do a really great little advertisement for you for yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> any personal needs or business related. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. yeah. And, and actually, Corinne was on the show two episodes or oh, two sweet. episodes ago yeah oh. yeah so yeah. anyway she's so cool anyway um but that artist asked us to put these props on and yeah. experience and then Corinne had caught a shot of me without anything on and it and that's when the artist said Sarah that's you mm -hmm. that's your more vulnerable spot that's more powerful that's I was like still not ready to be <laughs> me right it was yeah. like, but I'm still like looking <laughs> you know mm -hmm. I want to understand what this means and, yeah like, uncomfortably <laughs> in my little <laughs> you know I haven't broken out of my shell yet yeah hmm. I think that's what this year has been really you yeah know, is just I, I jumped into tattooing because the opportunity arose um, How did it arise? Well, my one of my really good friends, Curtis Mueller, mm -hmm. who just opened up Steel and Vines, which you have to go check it out. Uh, um, all right. Mm -hmm. We have no idea where we started, where we did whatever yeah. before the screen went funny. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just start wherever we feel we'll like talking. Yeah. 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 So you were talking about sort of when you went into university, then you kind of... Um, we're looking at all kinds of, which is yeah. like I say, what university is supposed to do, yeah. looking at all those things. Performance was something you yeah. never even, same here. I had no idea. Me yeah. either. I and was then, like, what? And then this you're like, really this is a fantastic sense. medium yeah. to, to do things. Well, and one of my, my um, best pieces, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, in the uh, opinions of others, yes. <laughs> was brought about because 
I wanted to do this piece about like embroidering in a hundred different languages the word love, right? Mm -hmm. And then hanging it in a strip and like in the doorway and you have to walk through the love of the world, right? Yeah. And the teacher was like, that's bullshit. Like, <laughs> fuck, you know? And so I was like, oh yeah? <laughs> okay. So I went and I bought a hundred dinner plates <laughs> and I grabbed my red lipstick and I wrote love across each one mm -hmm. and smashed it. Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. then, and then... Somebody, uh, Fred Green, loaned me a, uh, yeah. ooh, a plinth that I kind of chipped. Sorry about that. <laughs> 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 to put them all in, right? And then, like, had that, that mm -hmm. piece where you walked into the room and all you could hear was, like, the sweeping up of it, which was so nice. interesting. Because, yeah. um, like, retrospectively, mm -hmm. I'm, like, looking at my life and going, oh, it's almost as if I said, here's what I'm going to do for the yeah. rest of the next 12 years. <laughs> like, it's so strange. Yeah. But um, like on a personal note, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And setting intentions. So be careful with the intentions you set. <laughs> you have power. That's true. <laughs> true. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm setting good ones. And I'm like, yeah, oh. take a check every once in a while. Yeah, right? <laughs> Am I working in my highest good? Does this serve me? Yeah. Does this benefit me so that I can be more of what I need to be for the community too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm like, oh, I've never wanted to be a tattoo artist this bad. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, you know, here I go again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was something that just aligned in my world. Right before I went to school, um, I just left my marriage and decided to redefine myself. I was now like a single mom of two and I didn't know how to do it. I was yeah. like, I'm doing this. I've, I've decided to declare my space and honor yeah. myself. Well, what am I doing? You yeah. know, yeah. I have to provide for these kids and I don't have an education and I don't have any work experience. And all I've done is like create and do mm -hmm. and create and do. And no one's ever told me, no, you can't do that, Sarah, or at least not to the point where I could hear them, yeah. <laughs> you know? So <laughs> like, yeah, I just did. And so I thought, now's the time. I'm going to better myself, better myself with education. And mm -hmm. it really did. Like, it took me down yeah. a whole new path. But right before I made the decision, I was, I was presented with apprenticeship for tattoos oh. or post-secondary education. Oh, wow. And I thought, I'll go with the education because <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanted to be official. I mm -hmm. really wanted to have, like, letters, <laughs> you know, or like yeah. have that experience. Cause it seemed like that was a big deal for people. And like, yeah. it was like whatever made people. But yeah. for me, like I just, I've never really fit in. I didn't know what the standard was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just like, let's just go. <laughs> yeah. And it was so much fun. It was mm -hmm. so fun because I picked every class I wanted to take. I didn't care if it fit into my, you know, diploma or requirements or anything. I was just like, nope, going for it. And then it all fell into place. So it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. But yeah, it was um, just such an exploration. I remember when I first went to college, Yeah. I'm sitting in bio 1000 or human anatomy and physiology 1000 and the teacher, the prof with the C of 160 of us, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. everybody here has their bio 30, right? <laughs> I was the only one that put my hand up. I was like, I don't, <laughs> right? And she was like, oh my gosh, like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I want to be an artist, <laughs> right? She's like, oh, no problem. <laughs> yeah, who was in the top 10? Yeah, that's there right. you go. I yeah. know. I was mm -hmm. like, and I was a dropout. So it's kind of like, oh, I am smart. Okay, yep. I can yeah. access that part of me. It's like all defining ourselves and, and as an artist like we always have this like really fragile you know egos and things like that it's like oh my gosh they're all gonna judge me yeah. you know and it's like and it's like please judge me yeah please please <laughs> do I fit in this yeah. box do I, did I, did I fit well in that yeah. box yeah do you like me yeah. <laughs> gold stars <laughs> it's more like what do you think yeah. holding yeah. out front but oh yeah well one of my pieces that I did too was an exploration of a journal like so I did a video journal because I wanted I wanted to draw. It was my senior studio. Uh, I was with Mary Cavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs> I adore her. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but man, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. the challenges are what make we we mm -hmm. us grow, right? Yep. <laughs> so, yep. so there I was, and I had all done my my curriculum. We'll call it right. This mm -hmm. is how I'm going to teach myself how to draw because I still wanted to be a really good drawer you know I'm like is that the word <laughs> I'm gonna draw real good and um, Gooder. yeah and she x'd that she was like nope this is absolute crap right and I remember like I had pieces on my studio <laughs> wall for our first visit and it was like I was checking my reflection in the bottom <laughs> of my wine glass and I thought I had to have an abortion but it turned out a deep shower sufficed you know <laughs> <laughs> shit like that right yeah. and she was like this is crap <laughs> and I was like oh yeah okay fine 
So after studio visit, she went to the, her room and I tore down everything off my studio walls, ripped it all up, threw it in a dustpan, threw the dustpan in the sink, turned on the sink, went to my cubby, grabbed my white glue, paper mache <laughs> myself a great big ring. And I was like, okay. I was like, huh. Put it on a thing. And I wheeled it to her office. And it was like, squeak, 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 all the way there. And I knock on her. I'm like, may I come in? She's like, yes. And I'm like, I call it, fuck it. <laughs> and I walked away. She's like, now you're onto something. And I'm yep. like, oh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was a lot of struggle, you know, with myself yeah. and my own, you know, busting down my own barriers that were preventing me from growing, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So super, super grateful for the entire post-secondary education experience. And well, and be grateful for yourself too, to be yeah. open enough yeah. to do that, right? Um, rather than giving up, like if, if someone doesn't yeah. like my stuff, then screw them. Yeah, yeah. There's stuff to be learned, right? There's a time for that, yeah. for sure. But there's also... Um, stuff to be learned that's why we go yeah right so yeah. it it we don't go just to learn the discourse and yeah. to learn um how to paint yeah it's also being given that that moment to um really listen like listen to yeah. your the people you're learning with and listen to the people you're learning from yeah right yeah. and and that definitely translates into our life totally. at all yeah yeah, I cherish yeah. those memories and those yeah. experiences and how they like helped shape me, you know. Yeah. But also how <laughs> how I affected them. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, I was a little different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was fun. Still are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> yep. Um, There's no change in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think I mean, yeah, you don't want to just go along and do what you're told. Yeah. I think challenging Well, there's a part of me that, good. that has always desired that. <laughs> yeah. Like, please, somebody just tell me what to do. <laughs> then I won't fuck up. Well, it's you like know, safety. studio class was like that, right? Yeah. Like, you wait, you wait, and you want studio. You just want to yeah. do what you want to do. Yeah. And it's yeah, this yeah. luxurious time, and you're given this little white box. It's your own space. Yeah. And it's so exciting. And you do put drawings on the wall yep. or pictures or whatever. Uh, to make it look like, you know, I'm thinking and I know really what's going cool. on. And you're sitting in there going, oh, what the fuck's going on? Right. What am I going to do? I'll buy this Now bag. people are going to know I'm a fraud. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, all of a sudden you're given all this time. And I remember um, Glenn McKinnon oh, saying, yeah. just do. Yeah. Do whatever. Like, I don't care what it is. Yeah. Just freaking do something. Yeah. And it's so true. Like, if you just force yourself to do a horrible pen drawing or something, yeah. it gets you going, yeah. right? Whereas you can sort of paralyze yourself in this yeah. idea of greatness or oh, something. Yeah, right? totally. I have to live up yeah. to my ego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, exactly. it was so cool though. Yeah. yeah. But I ended up uh, dancing to Stephen Ford. I remember it was like the donkey song. And he was <laughs> saying to me in, in, in uh, Gold Gardens, <laughs> And my brand new shiny heels that I just bought, mm -hmm. wedge heels, mm -hmm. uh, no, flared, they were mm -hmm. really pretty mm -hmm. anyway, got them from the shoe tree. Well, they caught on the cobblestone and I ripped every tendon in my freaking ankle and I was homebound in that semester. No, so, I remember. I yeah. Mean, oh, wow. So that happened. And I remember like making... So did you have to like leave I, that semester nope i took it home with me wow <laughs> yeah. wow and it turned into my video diary so that's there when i was go. like day one <laughs> 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 i hate life <laughs> i'm stuck in bed right so then at the end of the semester i did this huge and i blasted my face up on the wall projected yep. it huge and people came in and watched like a two-hour unedited diary <laughs> of that semester and I was just like why won't people move for me I'm on crutches you know <laughs> like, just ridiculous and yeah. Mary was laughing her head off me like yeah. I shouldn't be laughing I'm like no no it's, it's yeah. a human experience yeah. like yeah. this is what we go through and it's okay to share and it's okay to be it's okay yeah. to be yourself and no one can cancel you for being you you know yeah. this isn't a tv show <laughs> no yeah oh. thank goodness right yeah, yeah. Who would watch it? <laughs> this is what I know. I'm so funny. Oh my god. I didn't even get that. It went right over my head. That's the thing with I me. Went I went right over that. my <laughs> head. Uh, I am short, but still. Oh, we're sitting. Not, I know. But yeah, I'm like, damn. But, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I'll stop dancing um, my boobs on the screen. <laughs> anyway. All right.
So then you curated a show where you were still in university <gasps> yes, when yes, you did that. I did. Yeah. yeah. And that was with, um, uh, Darcy Logan and, uh, Robert Bechtel like, and the temp, the temp guys? Yes. Yeah. And it was, uh, why did I curate that show? I don't, my memory's not as great as it was. This was like eight years ago, <laughs> but <laughs> I think, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it was so fun. It was, it was an opportunity to do the show. And I can't remember if it was because Darcy needed someone to do the show. Or it was just like an opportunity. Everything just like aligned. And I was like, excellent. And I didn't have to be a part of the show. I just got to invite people to the show so that they could have that experience. I really wanted people to feel. And how did that feel in the end? Did you wish you had pieces in there? No, 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 no not at all. It was just like, this yeah. is so much fun. Look at these people showing their things. Like Derek Gray had, um, Oh, hundreds and hundreds of those butterflies. I remember oh, that. That was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And then um, Kayla Skye had those two bodies encased in, um, oh, what's that cast material? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plaster cast. Plaster cast, yeah. <laughs> but it was so it was so interesting, like just yeah. like the delicateness and the beauty and the, yeah, I don't know, it was just fun. Yeah. And then I did like another like 60s show too in the university. It was the first one before they put all the cabinets in um the downtown petting building oh yeah 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 they built all those cabinets there well mm -hmm. before they did that yeah it was a blank wall yeah it was, so it was I, nice yeah, yeah. I, I think i was the only one that got to use it before oh. they put those in i was like dang yeah <laughs> yeah but i don't know it's just i really love bringing people together and i love being able to see people light up i love them seeing like i love seeing them just like love themselves love what they're doing love where they're at you know and then just kind of sitting back mm -hmm. and being like holy shit look at all these happy people you yeah. know because yeah. there's so much sadness in the world there's so much pain and like so many people carry that and I don't want to create something that people are going to further that you know mm -hmm. so yeah inclusion I did a lot of work in like the community where um like with the Alberta Social Health and Equity Network before this is why I decided to go to university because I was like um I'm stupid. <laughs> I have no education. Mm -hmm. You know, I was hired to do an honorarium project and somebody else got the lead position because they had an education. And I was like, fuck, I'm getting like 250 bucks a month for an honorarium. Yeah. And I'm doing the delivery and I'm doing the yeah. creation. And it's because I don't have anything behind my name. And I didn't know how to get to that place where mm -hmm. it was like, it wasn't that I wanted the money or I wanted, I just wanted to be fair. I wanted oh. it to be like, you were more qualified, but yeah. you didn't have a piece of paper. Yeah. And it was like, my work could even be better if I wasn't pissed off <laughs> <laughs> that you guys are taking advantage of me, yeah. <laughs> you know, fuck you guys and your <laughs> letters. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to go get me some. Yeah. Which I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I got a baby instead. I got pregnant and decided to go that way. I remember sitting in Les Don's class. Yeah. Oh, I love him. Yeah. <sighs> and, uh. Rest was, in peace. Yeah, rest in peace and awesomeness. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was sitting there in his class at midterm time, and he's like, okay, is everyone ready for the midterms? And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm like, this is not midterm. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yes, it is. And I was like, oh, my God. I ran out of there crying. <laughs> I was like eight months pregnant. No, I was six months pregnant or something like that. It was just too much, mm -hmm. too much. I was mm -hmm. going through stuff at home. And then I was so I never went back after that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. With that. That's okay. Yeah. No, it's mm -hmm. really okay. Because then I was like, okay, keep going. <laughs> yeah. What do I want to do next? You know, and it was, I was working as a receptionist back at Jaded because I, have an amazing friend in Curtis and he always was there and always you know supported me whatever crazy ideas I've ever had over the years I met him in 1999 we lived mm -hmm. in the same house like oh, he lived yeah. in the attic and I lived in the basement with my husband and I was pregnant and I had a baby and there was like <laughs> he hated children but he babysat Ezra for the first time yes yeah, so we could go to a um, staff party <laughs> He slept the whole time in the car seat, so it was like three hours. Big deal, but it was still but, pretty, yeah. pretty big, right? Yeah, so we yeah, still kind of sure. like laugh about that. It was like, hey, remember when? Yeah. Yeah, so he had jaded, and uh, he kept letting me come back and do reception work because yeah. that was my first life. <laughs> I, was, I was a secretary, you know, yeah. was, you know, from 15 on. I was a secretary, loved it. You know, I like the role. I was going to say, I'm like, like I like the, dressing up, and I like like yeah. being like, I'm a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> performance. Yeah, it's right? totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, everything's performance. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you want to check out a horror movie I did, 5205 Studios, <laughs> you can check out The Harvestman. <laughs> 
anyway. But yeah. I've, I, I actually have a that? few. Yeah. And I have a few DVDs. Oh, when I was moving oh, out yeah. drunken sailor, I was I like, I totally forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. That's so, cool. but yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah. There's a couple movies, right? Is there uh, another yeah, one? There's like lots of other shorts oh, okay. I did and stuff. Oh, it was, okay. just, yeah, <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> well, when you were talking about, um, how you, you like art because mm -hmm. you like affecting people, yeah. you like, um, bringing out emotion yeah. in people, you know, like making people happy, mm -hmm. all those different things. It really sort of gave me insight as to why, of course, you would like tattooing because you're doing this art yeah. and immediately you're having lots of times an emotional connection yeah. as well, like probably yeah. mostly, right? Always. Yeah. 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 So Whether you've got joy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It seems like they're usually done with reason for yeah. sure. Well, um, the reason can be as simple as like, let's get a tattoo. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, like, you know, my grandmother passed away and this is her handwriting. Mm -hmm. Can you make this into saying this? Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah, I can't give it to me. You know, I love that stuff. I love being able to yeah. connect with them and creating that safe space and listening and creating, you know, and just being like, what is this what you want? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what you want. Okay, good. Okay, now yeah. let's come into my space and make it yours. Yeah. You know? And that, it just, it feels so full of heart and connected to my soul. You know? Like, it's like, I want to serve people. I mm -hmm. want to be able to give them that safety, that experience, you know, and that artwork. And I, I like being able to do that. So, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to get back. <laughs> well, and I think, I think that, that, um, you know, we sort of talk about being artists and it is how you affect people really. Right. Mm -hmm. Even if you're sort of creating art and then hiding away when it's shown, which is always <laughs> what yeah, I, right, hope yeah. I can do, Ooh. but, um, you know, it it still is sort of about this affecting people or, mm -hmm. or a connection or something. And yeah. with, COVID, just like so many people and so many people in their jobs, you're not having that interaction and you're not, because even if you're having it just like kids and doing their school, right? When you're yeah. having it that way, there just isn't that connection. There isn't that community, yeah, right? That community feeling that's really important. So, yeah. and you, um, a lot of us can't do our jobs. Yeah. Um, you can't do your job and you can't do your hobby, really, can't do either, nothing. right? So I've become a very good online kindergarten teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be a new yeah. thing. Oh, totally. Well, yeah. that was my other favorite thing to do when I was a little kid. Yeah. Was play teacher. So, oh, yeah. So I've been like, <laughs> all these things totally, are making sense. Totally, this is so sense. much fun. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, you can yeah. see my home. It's like, yeah. we've got books and plants and a fish tank that grows food and, you yeah. know, like music. It's like, no, we just, we live, you Yeah. Know. And for the last part of the summer... We lived in the coolies. Mm -hmm. I'd take Nella out. And... Well, you live right oh, by yeah. the coolies. You have an amazing, yeah. amazing place. So good. Yeah. And like it was, what started was I had this connection, this calling. I could hear it. Mm -hmm. It was like, I want to see, or I want to hear an owl. Oh. I just want to hear an owl. I'd walk down there 15 years ago and I had heard an owl and I was like, I want to hear that again. Yeah. Well, so the first day I decided I was like, rounded up my nephews and um, Nella and we went walking. And I was nervous because I thought, can I do this walk? This is like walking all the way down the hill and then I'm back up, right? Like yeah. it was big yeah. in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> so we got there and I ran into one of my old professors oh. from university, Dagmar. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. She was walking. They were with, always walking. It yeah. was so cool yeah. because they had called the snake wrangler, oh, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. Ryan. Yeah. And he was arriving to take two rattlesnakes off the path, put them in the bucket, and then he let us see them. So all of a sudden it's wow. a science trip. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay, this is yeah. great. And yeah, so we saw a female and a male rattlesnake. The most amazing thing. He's like, yeah, you can look at them. I'm like, okay. So we like lean over and they're just like, Tsh! and I'm like, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to stress you out. We just really want to look at you. And all of a sudden they both went quiet. And I was like, that happened. I'm a snake regular. Yeah, I was like, they feel me. <laughs> But it was so cool because the kids got to see them, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I got to see them too, but yeah. the kids got to see them. And then so we carried on, went down there, and we saw minnows and a deer and blue heron, a great blue heron. And then as we're turning the corner, I look up on the hill, and I'm like, that's an <laughs> owl. So we got to see the owl. Oh, like, wow. And, and Nella got really upset. She's like, I want to see the owl. She's really loud, really loud. <laughs> and the owl turns and looks at her. And I was like, yeah. That is so cool. Anyway, um, yeah, like yeah. things like that really 
bring a lot of joy to my life. It's really helped us through COVID, you know, yeah. like all the kids and stuff and just getting out there and getting active and being a part of their environment and mm -hmm. remembering that like we live together, you know, yeah. like nature is a part of us and we are a part of nature. How can we interact with it? What do you feel when you're surrounded by it? Don't forget that, you know, carry it in your heart. And I mm -hmm. think that really helps when you're going back into the city, you know, that there's that connection there. So if you can't connect with, with the nature, maybe we can connect with our nature, you know, mm -hmm. and carry that. Yeah. And how do you yeah. think art kind of plays in with that? Or how, how do you incorporate that into your art? Oh, I, well, the kids don't like it when I stop. So I'm like, snap, 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 <laughs> you know, <laughs> random shots yeah. that really capture the beauty because I'm not, my head's not in it. I'm not like, okay, set this shot up, make sure it's really, and that's not mm -hmm. like against people that do that in any way, but it keeps it raw for me. It keeps mm -hmm. it real. So that was like my outlet this summer was just like taking in the smells and the sounds and the sights and just being inspired by what's naturally around us, you know, and remembering that we are all natural too, mm -hmm. you know, and it's really special to be so close to it. So it calmed me, calmed me right down and, and allowed me to keep on being artistic and creative and, and kind of like satiating those needs in me of like, yeah. you know, doing. <laughs> Well, and doing without feeling like you haven't done enough, yeah. I think is important during this time. Yeah. yeah. And I found out that I can go up and down the hill and it's not a big deal. <laughs> and then I can get farther too. <laughs> the more you went up and down, the yeah. farther you could go. Oh. Facing my own fears. And again, those like barriers that we construct for ourselves, you know? Yeah. Break through. Yeah. yeah. Find out what's on the other side. Not scary. <laughs> he likes the so, buffalo. He like the what? The buffalo run into the storm. Yeah. Troy Emery Twig, Twig uh, taught me that. And I remember when I met him. He's uh -huh. a performance artist. Or, yeah, he's just amazing. <laughs> Jana took me to the Yates. And I remember being there and being like, whoo. It was when I was part of the Allied Arts Council board. Yeah. And I was watching this amazing performance. And it was about Indigenous rights and, and movement and, and placement. And I just... I cried. I cried so much. It was the static everywhere and mm. the dancer right in the center and the way that he moved. And it was just like it, the story spoke. I'm going to cry now oh. <laughs> so deeply to me. Yeah. And I went outside at intermission and I was having a cigarette because I used to smoke back then. <laughs> I can say that now. Anyway, um, and... And there was, I was talking to this lady and I was like, it was so amazing. It was so, like, I was crying. And she's like, that's my son. And then she introduced Aww. me to Troy and I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> you're like famous. <laughs> you know, it was, yeah. And, oh. and he taught me about the buffalo, right? And yeah, running into the storm because the storm's coming anyway. And the buffalo oh. are really smart. They know it's coming. So what, rather than run from it, get to the other side of it oh. by facing it head on. I did not yeah. know that. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Now we learn too. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Yeah. What's a, what's the kitty's Panther. name again? Panther. Panther. Um, Panther is a sock. Yeah. <laughs> Total. <laughs> Been trying to get my love in through this whole time, and of course mm. has. But anyway. Yeah. Well, thanks yeah. for joining me, and uh, I'm like, oh yeah, we, hi. We, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure what this is going to be like, but we appreciate you um, listening, and uh, um, so does Panther. Yeah, <laughs> he likes his belly rubs. He does. He I don't know what he's going to do if I pick him up. Purr. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Panther. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Another local artist oh, name. sweetie. Deirdre the Pin. She calls him Panties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so thanks again for coming. Um, if you would like to join me, be on the show, we can either come to your space or um, hang out at uh, Studio Venus. So let me know. But the idea of the show and what I think Sarah and I have been able to do today <laughs> is literally just talk in a very candid way about art, yeah. about how our surroundings affect what we make and how we hope what we make can affect our surroundings. Um, and sort of that that culture of community and and what art means to our community. So Keep I it hope alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And especially now, right? Mm -hmm. That's a challenge right now to figure yeah. out figure out how to do that and be able to share it. Yeah, maybe we'll do that figure drawing sometime. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that could be a new thing. Because yeah. we, we used to have the tipsy mermaid 
drawing. Yeah. So maybe we'll just have to bring that back in some way. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, Corinne, did you, she had a collage thing. She did the collage thing. thing, but I couldn't yeah. cut scissors. So I was like, well, I'm just not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thanks very much. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for checking out Art in Lethbridge. Yeah. And uh, if you're a curious creative who would like to be on the show and chat, <laughs> just give me a ring. <gasps> yes. Diamonds. <laughs> what are you doing? I want, I want a closing thing, but I can't figure out what it's going to be. Oh, wow. He is so adorable. <laughs>